What's up everyone, Bob Missing here today. Now today we're doing an unboxing of the Zeppelin Air from Bowers and Wilkins. So this is probably one of the best iPod docks out there. I think the only other iPod dock that, that can compare to this is probably the Arkham R Cube. Um, but obviously that's not wireless like this is, but I'll get into that into the unboxing. So at the front of the box we've got a picture of the Zeppelin itself with an iPhone docked into it. And um, you know, Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin Air. So obviously it gets its name from the actual AirPlay feature inside as you can see at the bottom very small writing around the side of the box we've got a picture of the little remote that comes with it like a pebble style remote on the other side there's not much apart from just a bit of writing and on the back you've got sort of like a picture of it in use and other different features about it which we'll get onto in the actual unboxing and the review that will come up later, later on in the week so at first just two little pieces of stickers here that need to be cut so these, this does cost about £499 RRP, I did get it for a bit less than that, about 40% off. So just open up the box, just to say in the box itself, which you can't see, it says that you shouldn't actually hold it from the actual dock itself, you should hold it from the sides of the speakers. I'll try and get that picture up there, so don't hold it from the actual little iPod dock arm. But from the actual sides of the speakers, just let you know if you are actually getting one and you do want to open it. So in here you do get the um, instruction manual, all the different booklets in here. There's not too much in there, just one, one or two booklets, warranty information, you know, instruction manual, how to set it up for airplay, all that sort of stuff. You get an Ethernet cable, which helps you actually connect to the airplay and to your actual uh, network at home. You've got a UK um, plug, so you know you get a three pin UK plug, and you've also got a plug for the US if you do want to take it to the US, or obviously for people who do live in the US, there's a plug for them as well. So if we uh, try to take it out of the box itself. So now I've got the box open. What you do actually get in the box as well, which I didn't show earlier on because it was actually inside the polystyrene bit, is the little little pebble style remote, which I should just take the plastic off. Just give it a second. So you get the little pebble style remote, uh, which is pretty nice, you know, you've got a nice glossy sort of finish to it. You've got your volume up and down, play, pause, uh, on and off button, and as well as the skipping tracks button. And it, you know, it does feel quite nice in the hand. They've actually got a little indent at the top there, just to put your finger on, so it makes it even more comfortable to hold. And it does feel really nice to hold in the hand. That's quite nice to have. And the actual speakers I was wrapped in a a cloth cloth bag. It's not. It's not just a little polystyrene. It's actually a cloth bag, which is quite nice to see. And that's the Zeppelin itself. So you got the iPod dock, and like it said, because you can see the little gap there, which allows you to make it easier when you're using the iPod. So you can put your hand like this, and you know, sort of move the wheel if you've got an old school iPod. Uh, don't ever carry it from here because you may end up breaking it, as it is quite a heavy speaker. It's quite a big speaker. Um, so you've got the on on and off switch at the top and the volume buttons. You can't really see that because it's sort of you know built into the sort of chrome, so it'll be very hard to see on camera. On the back, you can see the two holes for the where the uh, base actually allows to get the air out for the base for the speaker. And that's pretty much it in terms of actual what the speaker has on it. Obviously, you've got a little bit of a rear I/O. So if I bring it up to the camera itself. So you've got the Ethernet cable, the USB cable, aux in, um, another sort of cable which I can't really see, the composite cable, I think, and also the power in itself, and that's all you get for the rear I.O. So that's all you get in terms of the rear I.O. because this is meant to be a totally wireless speaker um, from any sort of Apple product, whether it be iTunes or any iOS device through AirPlay or even the latest Mac computers as well. You can also AirPlay the sound from your computer to the speaker itself. Uh, and obviously you get your dock as well uh, but having you know, your aux and USB that pretty much covers every device out there nowadays um, and that's pretty much it so that's my quick unboxing of the Zeppelin Air I will have a full review up in about a week or so after playing around with it having listened to it and actually using it and you know showing you what the sounds like uh, how easy it is to set up with AirPlay and pretty much everything else in between so yeah thanks for watching